Hello, and welcome to our monthly recap of the best stories on cloud services for government, education, nonprofits, and healthcare around the world. I'm Dolly Isaac, a Partner Development Manager in the AWS Public Sector. Let's check out the top stories from the blog in January 2020. First, how did one federal agency migrate five applications to AWS six weeks ahead of schedule? With AWS GovCloud US and AWS Partner Network Consulting Partner, Credence Management Solutions, LLC. Credence completed their migration for the Defense Logistics Agency using AWS Cloud Endure Migration. Working with AWS Professional Services, Credence migrated all five applications in just 138 days almost six weeks ahead of schedule. Next, coding the future during Code.org's annual Hour of Code, powered by AWS. More than 2,000 Amazon employees, over one-third from AWS, led 280 events in more than 20 countries, introducing children ages 5 to 18 to computer sciences and coding. From Dallas to Cape Town, Amazon employees shared what it was like connecting kids to the world of computer science and teaching them basic coding using games like Dance Party and Minecraft. Next, according to the United Nations, the world needs 69 million more teachers to reach its sustainable development goals for quality education by 2030. And right now, the world is on track to fall short of that goal. One reason for that projected shortfall is overwhelming teacher workload. An ed tech in United Arab Emirates uses artificial intelligence to automate repetitive, time-consuming tasks. The AI also gathers millions of data points in real time to help teachers tune in to live student feedback, allowing for much more personalized learning pathways. Finally, rethinking workforce development in the digital economy. As AWS public sector leader Teresa Carlson travels the globe speaking to public sector leaders, the number one question she gets is, how can leaders better serve their citizens, grow their economies, and quickly adapt to global technology threats and changes? The answer starts with tapping the skills, creativity, and passion of their citizens. Teresa shares best practices for scaling and upskilling government, education, and nonprofit workforces to ready them for the cloud economy, ultimately benefiting both institutions and their citizens. Learn more about each of these stories and others like them on the AWS Public Sector blog. And please, leave a comment to let us know what else you'd like to hear from us next month. I'm Dolly Isaac, and those are your top public sector blog stories from January 2020. Thanks for watching.